this video outside, but it started raining right as I was about to start recording. So inside it is. Ah, <sighs> what is going on folks? It has been six weeks, six weeks since I have published a video. Yep, a lot of you have been hitting me up asking what is going on? I hope you're okay. Where are the videos? Missing the videos and I'm sorry. I I needed a break. I was full blown into training and trying to put every ounce of effort I had into it. 200 mile attempt and uh, I just, I wasn't feeling the desire to record. I was doing some recording, but then I wasn't, I'd sit down to edit it and I just, I couldn't get it done between work and then the Girl Scout cookie selling season. We were in booths, felt like three times a week during the week after work on the weekends, both Saturday and Sunday. And I just, I didn't have it in me to put the videos out. So I apologize for that, but a lot has gone on. I ran my first ever marathon. I am on lap three of six. I am nine and a half miles in. So far feeling good. Running faster than I want to. Keep trying to slow down. And every time I look at my watch, still running. 745, so I've got to tone it down. I had run a marathon in the Ironman four times, but I basically was just slugging through those, trying to get done. This was my first marathon. I didn't really train for a marathon. I had a long run to do. I had a 20 miler and I decided, hey, there's a race down in Long Beach. It's really small. They put on these races pretty regularly. There was a marathon option. Why not do a marathon instead of run a 20 mile boring run? And uh, it went really well. I went into the race saying I would take it easy and not run real hard. And the whole time I'm looking at my watch, trying to keep control, keep it together. I ended up running a 327, which is the fastest I've ever run a marathon. The fastest uh, I think I might have ever even run a half marathon. And I was holding back, just trying to run it easy. So I am pumped because uh, I might have a little bit faster marathon in me. After the marathon, I ran an 8K race, which is five miles just a week later, and I ended up running 647s, I believe, a 33 minute five mile run, and that felt really good. And again, trying to hold back, I had just run the marathon a week before, and all of that felt good. My body has felt great over the last six weeks, other than being, I think, probably more mentally tired than physically. Uh, I feel like I am in great, great condition. But unfortunately, with all of this craziness going on in the world with the coronavirus, 
everything is being canceled. And the Beyond Limits Ultra had been holding out. They were saying they were gonna have it, but with yesterday's recommendations from the CDC of any event over 50 people be canceled, they had to cancel the event. And this morning that email came in. Today was officially day one of my taper. Last week, I ran a 100 mile week and felt good all week. I will say my Achilles is a little bit sore uh, the last couple of days. I really started out big doing a 10 mile day on Monday, then an 18 mile day, then a 22, then an 18, and then kind of tapered off through the weekend. And luckily, my, my Achilles didn't really kind of start bothering me till the weekend. So I was able to muscle through those last couple days and check off that 100 miles and start my taper. Today was day one of the taper and the race has been canceled or moved, we'll say postponed. Instead of being in two weeks on April 2nd, it has been moved out to September, the mid to end of September. I can't remember the exact date, but while it's disappointing in the grand scheme of everything else going on, can't really complain about it, but I'm bummed that I have put all of this work in, but I feel like I have built a huge base and so I decided I'm gonna pick a new goal and I'm gonna pick it out towards August so that I can enjoy training through summer and stay motivated. And because I ran that 327 marathon and I ran it kind of holding back, I have decided to throw down a much bigger goal because why not? And I am going to attempt to qualify for Boston 2021. Now to do that, there is a race up in Northern California called the Santa Rosa Marathon. It is on August 28th, I believe, August 28th or 29th. And I officially registered for that this morning. And I am going to train a true marathon training program, which I have never done. Run hard, run some speed work in there and focus on a true marathon training program. I think I have 18-ish weeks to prepare for this and see how much lower can I get my time than a 327? The goal would be to run, to qualify for Boston for my age group, which is 40 to 45, I am 43 years old, I need to run a 310 is the qualifying time, but the actual time to get in is a 308, which means I need to shave like 18, 19 minutes off my time. Maybe that's not possible, maybe it is, but the only way I'm gonna find out is to go for it. I plan to still run Beyond Limits at the mid to end of September, but it's not gonna be the A race now. Uh, I will focus on qualifying for Boston at Santa Rosa, and then I'll have a couple weeks to recover, and I will roll into Beyond Limits, which hopefully I'll still have a really good base, and I'll still be running similar distance because I really haven't been doing much running over 20 miles in any one long run. I've just been doing a lot of volume. And uh, we'll go out and we're just gonna have a good time. I've got 72 hours at that point to try and run the race. Actually, I won't have 72 hours because they had to move the race. There is only one weekend, it's a three day weekend and the race cannot be 72 hours. I believe it's only going to be 67 hours. So I'm going to have five hours less to try and hit 200, but I'm just gonna go out and enjoy that race at that point and have fun and see all of the people. And who knows, maybe, maybe I can pull off 200 miles in 67 hours. I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it. My goal is to go out there and have fun and now shift my focus to marathon training continue the weight training, continue the cycling and swimming as really my recovery, and just hit it hard. Run fast, run hard, and see how quick can I get between now and August 28th. But that is it. So I'm back. I'm gonna get back into recording, I promise. I. Uh, it's been good though, <laughs> honestly. It's been good to take that little bit of a break of not having that thought of let me set the camera up, let me get recording in, then let me get this video out. But I have missed it as well because I have missed the comments and talking with you and it is always good to hear from you guys asking where I'm at and how I'm doing. I greatly appreciate it. So we're back. I know this isn't an exciting video. I apologize for that. But come next week, 
there'll be another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy. But hey, now is a good time. I mean, you might be doing way less. You might be quarantined. You might not be going into the gym. Maybe you're working from home. But uh, it's a good time to think about what goals can you set that are out there uh, with all the craziness in the grocery stores and trying to buy food and toilet paper. I posted today, hey, maybe it's a good time to start eating a little less, which requires a little less shopping and a little less toilet paper. So you guys have a great week. I'm excited to be back. I'll talk to you soon.